Hello, welcome to TU How To. This is Wheels and Tires. My name is Chris. I will be your host today. Um, we will be discussing different things, four different things. We'll probably go into different subjects as they come, come up. Um, four sub main subjects today are how to measure uh, wheel offset, tire size for lifted trucks, wheel sizes, and all terrain versus mud terrain, AT versus, you know, can't get that idea. So anyways, so this is what we're going to do. So the first one we're going to go to is how to measure offset. Measuring offset is one of the most sometimes complicated, crazy things that you can do. Sometimes, especially on newer vehicles nowadays, it can be very difficult to make sure you get the right stuff set up. So basically, offset, what it is, is we're, excuse my crude drawing, but basically what an offset is, let's just pretend this is a wheel. Okay, and then the center of the wheel, this is basically your mounting flange to where the wheel bolts up to the vehicle. Your offset is usually the distance from the mounting flange to the outside of the wheel. And this is usually measured in millimeters. You know, it could be like a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, those are just generic numbers, but it'd be something like that. Now, what I like to use is backspacing in inches, and this is gonna be on the back side of the wheel right here, and this is your backspacing. Usually that's done in inches, not millimeters. So what we wanna do is most vehicles <coughs> nowadays have what they call a I don't have a high offset, that's right, low offset <coughs> wheel so that they have real deep backspacing to cover up uh, more of your suspension components because vehicles are getting wider and wider these days so they have to have the offset to go over the suspension components to keep the, the tires tucked underneath the vehicle and not stick out real far. So you're going to have a real deep backspacing which is so instead of your standard backspacing being here, it's going to be up here now. Um, so what happens is when you start doing different things with vehicles, and you want to change them out, it depends on how you want the tire to sit on the vehicle, it depends on where this sits. So um, if you want the vehicle tucked in, you're going to have more backspacing. If you want the vehicle the tire to stick out, you're going to have less backspacing. And that's usually uh, you know, how that all works together. Um, most vehicles nowadays come with an average, on like truck, I'm talking trucks, um, cars are a little bit different. But most trucks run usually an average of anywhere from five to six inches of backspacing, which is this number here. Now, that works, that works really well, but what happens, excuse me, what happens is when you start lifting the vehicle, that backspacing becomes not necessarily the most optimal set up and you want to change that so you need to go to something with less backspacing to get the tire out for clearance for bigger tires um, in different packages it just depends on how you're going to do that um, but basically the way the, the main thing on the question is how to measure your offset so basically what you'll do is you have a wheel and you can set it upside down set it face down on the ground and what you'll do is you'll take this will be where the mouse of the vehicle and you'll put a flat level across the tire here you measure this distance, and that is your backspacing. So that's usually what you'd want to do um, to measure backspacing. Okay. The next question is tire size. Now tire size, this is another one of those real fun ones. You know, back in the day, it was pretty much just your standard American sizes. You'd have something like a 33 by 1250 uh, R15. So basically what this would mean is it's a 33 inch tall tire. This is the height. This is your width. This would be 12 and a half inches wide. And then this is the wheel size, which would be 15 inches. So, that, you know, it was pretty simple back in the day. It was you know, nice and easy, you go somewhere, I need this, tires, okay, it's cool. Nowadays, completely different. Tires, almost every tire that you buy on a vehicle nowadays is all metric. Um, so you would have, for instance, something equivalent to this would probably be a 285 slash 75 R16. So you look at that and you're like, well, how the heck does that have anything to do with a 33, 12 and a half? So basically the way you figure this out is you're going to go something like this and you're going to have basically what I'm going to do is 285 
is the width. Oh, the tire. In millimeters. And then the 75, that is the percentage. The sidewall percentage. So of, of the width. So basically I'm going to roll a tire over here so kind of maybe see if I can show you how that might work. Basically, what we have here, this tire right here is this size right here. It's 285 R16. So basically what you have, the 285 is going to be your width of your tire in millimeters. Okay, so this is 285. 75 is going to be the percentage of your sidewall from here to here. So the sidewall is 75% of your width. And that translates to any metric tire. And then the 16 is going to be your wheel size. Now there is a formula that you can do that basically will come up with this, this setup. Basically the way it works is you're going to have, and I don't have a calculator with me so I'm not going to give full numbers, but I'll give you, can give you an idea how it works. What you'll do is you're going to take 285, 285, and you're going to divide that by point, sorry, getting ahead of myself. You're going to times that by 0.75. That'll equal a number. It's going to be probably like 430 or something like that. We'll just, you know, just like I said, this is not the actual number. This is just a guesstimate number. So let's make a look at that number right there. Then, when you get that answer, when you get this number, then you're going to divide it by 25.4. And that'll equal a number of like probably around 16 point something. And then what you do is you add the wheel size, which is 16. And that will basically give you 32. Now this actually comes out, this tire is 32 and a half inch tall tire. But that's basically how you measure that. And that will work with any tire. You can have whatever size you want. You can have 315, 75, R16. Um, anything like that, it all kind of works in that same measurement. So that is always the easiest way to figure out um, what it is. Now usually it's calculator unless you got you know, a real computer mind and I, which I don't. But So that's usually how that all works out. It's always 25.4? Always 25.4. That, you know, 25.4, that's like the, the happy number. I just always use that number and then you just use the wheel size at the end and that gives you your actual height. Hmm. Um, now, one of the big questions that I always get from people is if I change my wheel size, is that going to change the height of the tire? Because that's going to kind of go into our next subject is the wheel sizes. But for instance, it doesn't have any effect because the numbers just change. So the numbers that we just talked about will just change a little bit. So what will happen is you'll have a 285, 75, R16, which is what we have right here. Well, say you wanted to step up to a 17 or 18 or even a 20. What you'll do is all you change the same, the millimeters and the width will stay the same. This number in 17 is going to drop it. And basically what will happen is every number, this will drop down and everything else. The wheel size will go up, the width stays the same, and the, the middle number will change. So for, say we're going to a 17 inch wheel, we're going to have a 70 R17. So a 285, 75, 16 and a 285, 70 R17 are the same height. There's nothing different, it's just a different wheel. So you'll have less sidewall than you did before. So you go up to a 285, 18. So it would be a 285, 65 R18. So basically, as you can see, the number just changes. And that's because this is the percentage of the sidewall. And when you go to a bigger wheel, your sidewall has to be shorter. So that's why this number gets smaller, just like a 20 would be a 285, 55. So, you know, the numbers now, this one's kind of a big one. Uh, I'm not sure why there's such a big drop from a 65 to a 55 where everyone else is a 5. But if you do the equation, they all work out to be about the same kind of tire.